Hi, welcome to another episode it's by Rose Squaws. And it's getting a bit old now, I think I'm going to have to change it. But in this episode, I'm just going to give you a quick run by of how you can use a Wii Remote to control your computer. First thing you need, you need to do is go out and go shopping. You need a Bluetooth dongle, or if your computer's got Bluetooth built in, that's fine. You need a IR sensor bar, a battery operated one, so it will work without having to have the Wii on, and a Wii Remote. Okay, now let's get to it. The first thing you need to do is go online and download a program called Blue Soleil. It's paid for, but you can get it elsewhere, as we all know. First thing you need to do is when you come on it, you hit the middle button and it will start searching. And now you need to turn your Wii Remote on. Mine's here already because I've paired with it. And you just hit connect. Simple as that. It will establish a connection. And once it's done so, you can connect to your device. Blue Soleil works particularly well because it keeps it paired indefinitely afterwards, whereas quite a lot of others drop out, especially the Windows built-in Bluetooth management. So here we go, connected, goes green, now you can use it like you would. Now the next thing you need to do is go online, and I'll be posting all the links of course, to get your copy of Glove Pi open. Glove Pi is a simple program and it looks like this. It's very easy to do. You can do it yourself by detecting outputs and inputs but it's much simpler if you go online and download them. So the first thing you need to do is go online, go onto Google, so if we just get a part, oh, here we go, and search Wiimote Projects. All you need to do is go download Wiimote Projects, and here it is. These are all the simple ones. Wiimote Plus, if you've got the little bit that connects onto the back of your Wiimote. Gesture Recognition Project, I haven't tried that yet, but I'm assuming it probably will work. Simple IR mouse script, the LED. This is uh, basically if you've got the IR thing. Not sure of what that one is, because I assumed that one was the one I needed, and this one works perfectly well. And this one just works off tilt centers. You download it, stick it somewhere where you know where it is. Open, hits mine, We IR mouse, and open it. The code is very simple. So this just means the mouse's x-axis is controlled by the Wiimote's smooth pointer, which is what it calls the IR, kind of like where you point it and stuff. Same with the Y. Mouse button 1 is controlled by Wiimote button A. Mouse button 2 controlled by Wiimote button B. So to left click, you click A. To right click, you click B. Same forwards all the way down. This is where it gets a little bit cool. The Wiimote LED button, which is usually sh used to show which player you are, will turn on if you press mouse button 1, 82, mouse button 3, and so forth all the way down. And this is so you know it's working. Wiimote Nunchuck. I've had this bit myself and we'll be putting it in the links. So this means that when you push forward on your nunchuck, no, when you push back on your nunchuck rather, the keyboard S button will be pressed, so you can use W, S, and D like any other game would. Same with W, controls forwards, D to your left, right, A to your left. This stops it from all screwing up, this little debug bit. And here is the cool bit. If nunchuck equals Z, keyboard equals S. So, click it, you jump. Hit plus, keyboard equals E. So this is for inventories on Minecraft, interactions on Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, interactions on Battlefield, Skyrim, everything in like the general kind of thing. E is tends to be your interact or do something with button. So that's pretty much where we are at now. You can use it and you can change all the variables and stuff. And to calibrate it, you probably should do this and tell it the distance. So I'm about 40 centimeters away. And you just use the buttons and it will talk you through all the way through. I'm not going to do it because I've already calibrated and it takes a little while, but it's very easy. The main thing you should make sure of if you've got enough is you've got enough space. It doesn't work on three screens, so you can only control a one screen system. So for mine, it's not actually that useful, but I found it quite cool. Also, being left for dead with it's good fun. At the moment, there's no way of decreasing the sensitivity of your Wiimote. So jumping around and stuff, it gets a little spinning around and up and down, but you get used to it and you get accustomed to it. I'm sure there'll be something brought out soon, though. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos like these. I hope you can subscribe and comment. My next one's going to be on the Connect and how you can use it to control Battlefield and Skyrim and stuff, and how you can write your own scripts for the Wiimote will probably come up and gesture recognition as well as a program 
that runs on a system called Track IR, which basically tracks where you're looking. You can use the Wii mode to do this using LEDs attached to your head, but I don't really want to have that. I will use my big 3D glasses that I use for my screens and two little reflective balls like Track IR does. If you need anything, be sure to message me. I'm happy to help with almost every computer situation. Be sure to subscribe and comment. Like the video if you found it helpful. All the links will be included beneath. Bye.